All right, so Friday night is Z night, but there's some things going on with the Z right now. But, you know, the gang and I have been working pretty hard, so I busted out the bullet, and we're just out here at the track. Gonna put down some times with the bullet and just have some fun, eat some track burgers, drink a couple beers, and watch other people go fast. And uh, I, I think the Corvette can keep up with at least some of the street tire guys out here. Beautiful Friday afternoon here in North Star. The porta potties have been freshly pumped. Nobody's even shitting her once yet. It's gonna be a great night. Now's your time to shine. Now's the time, buddy. Don't miss this limited opportunity. So, for those not familiar with the vet, it's a 05 LS2 Edelbrock E4 supercharger. It's got LG headers, long tubes, X5, and a tune. But it's about, it's only about 490 to the wheels. But it's on just street tires, so we're gonna see if we can break some feelings. Eight nine sixty footer, seven fifty five eighth mile at ninety eight point four. Not too bad. One point eight is a pretty good rollout for me. Now we're getting pretty some, good rollout. Now we're getting some burgers at the spot. These burgers are dang. The cars, the Britney Spears, the burgers, your boys. This place is dope, and it's quiet tonight. We're gonna definitely make some runs. Yeah, man. That one. That's a new personal best, baby. Not a bad 60 foot time, honestly, for rolling out on street tires. We were racing this GTR over here, and we were on his, we were on his tail, but he got us. I think I treated his ass though pretty good. Harry showed up with the Integra. The Corvette takes forever to cool down, so we're gonna try to do some tuning on this turd. See if we can maybe send it down the track tonight. What kind of, what time, kind of time you think it would run, Matt? Best time ever is an 11. I don't know. 11-2, ran by yours truly. Maybe, uh... <laughs> so we're trying to work this out. It's not uh, not going into positive pressure at all. And this tuner software is very strange to me and Harry. So we're gonna try to figure out how the hell it works. They've been prepping the track forever. What the fuck is this guy doing? Coming out here to test the tune with us? This is our test course, asshole. Just slow down, let him get ahead. Nobody's got mirrors out here. All right, go ahead and get it. Wide open. Oh, yeah. So it went way rich, it looked like. So they got it down to one track or one lane now. The tracks, they can't keep the track dry. So it's probably going to be our last pass of the night. I'm making a good one. I'm going to try to launch it a little bit. All right, so it's Friday night. We just wrapped up a night of racing. We had the bullet out there tonight. And uh, made some pretty good passes, got a new personal best in it. But uh, wanted to give an update video on what's going on with the Z. So the uh, long story short, I mean, anyone who's been following knows that um, we have a boost creep problem with our new turbo that we just had custom built by Force Performance. We're, we're boost creeping a little bit. The in, We had to have an integral wastegate. We had to have a T3 turbine flange. There was certain... Um, limitations that we were faced with or that uh, our guys at force performance were faced with and making a turbo that's going to work on the car and the stock location and everything and so with those challenges 
we've been finding little bugs that we have to work out. So in any case, the basically the Z is way over boosting. And even though we're running on a seven pound waist gate, we're making upwards of 18 to 20 PSI of boost. I got boost cut on the mega squirt, luckily. So um, whenever stuff got crazy out of control, it would just cut power. So um, anywho, I've uh, been working with Force Performance to see what we can do to fix it. And we're talking about, um, they're talking about porting the um, wastegate out a little bit so that it can flow a little more, more exhaust and hopefully that'll help. But we've also been kind of suffering in, in terms of getting a good launch um, because we're not able to build the boost as early because we're running a much bigger turbine housing. So um, that's another thing we have to figure out too. Uh, I'd like to see if I can tune in an anti-lag instead of instead of just normal two-step, if we could run an anti-lag, that's gonna help us kind of spool up the turbo a little better at the line and will help tremendously. And then the benefit of having a much bigger turbine housing is gonna be on the top end. We'll have much better exhaust flow and, and everything will be better that way. So anywho, we're still working out the bugs on that. I ordered a turbocharger for the Z from Amazon. Cheap, cheap, cheap turbo. This thing was $112, okay? And it was supposed to be a T3, T4 hybrid. And basically what came in this box, I boxed it back up because I'm 99% sure I'm sending it back. Um, it's huge. It's a huge turbine housing, or I'm sorry, it's huge compressor housing that apparently is only a 50 millimeter inlet on the turbo, on the compressor. But the compressor housing itself is just tremendously huge, as is the um, the exhaust as well. But it's two and a half inch V band coming out of it. But just the housings are so large, and we're already just so limited on the amount of space that we have to actually work with that I don't think we can use that thing at all. So my plans were we bolt that puppy on there. It's a hundred dollar turbo, just a piece of crap. Make a little bit more boost, hopefully, and we're able to. Um, keep having fun while uh, the other while the good turbos repaired but um, anywho so um, I'm calling it a night for tonight but tomorrow night I plan to pull the turbo off the Z the force performance turbo take it to them on Tuesday and see if we can work this out we got to figure out what we need to do and come up with a solution and so we can be fast again but I've had enough I've had enough track days without the Z being ready so we need to Hopefully, hopefully this gets resolved quickly and we can get back to action as soon as possible. All right, so I'm making one last ditch effort to um, send the car with the Force Performance Turbo on it before I take it off and take it to them to do more stuff to it. Um, and so what I'm doing, we were hitting boost cut at about 17 pounds. So I set, I just raised the boost cut basically. So I'm trying to see if if we keep it around 18 to 19 PSI, which is kind of like the high end of what I wanted to run right now with, with the engine the way it is, um, then if we can avoid the boost cut and actually get into that boost and it kind of, if it plateaus there instead of just creeping up, then maybe it's something we can work with. But I know we're, we're still running a stock fuel pump. We're gonna run out of pump for sure. And if I see it leaning out, I'm just gonna bail. But um, I'm gonna go just make a couple of hits around the neighborhood real quick with boost cut set to 19 PSI and see if it'll not cut. And if it keeps cutting, you know, we obviously have to deal with the boost creep problem and we probably will anyway, but I just kind of want to get as much data as I can before we proceed here. Still boost cut. Yeah, she's coming off. Huh, so I'm gonna go ahead and yank this turbo off. And uh, I gotta size up the, the cheap one that I bought to use temporarily and see if it's even gonna work. It looks to just not, looks like it's not gonna work. But uh, I'm gonna at least give it a shot, give it an effort and uh, get this thing apart tonight. Shouldn't take much time at all. I think it'll come together like butt cheeks. Our Force Performance built custom turbo. It's got a billet 56 millimeter wheel. Let's say uh, 0.82. 0.82 AR housing on the back, T3, a three inch V-band clamp, integral wastegate. And uh, the problem with it is just boost creep. So um, we need to get the wastegate ported out so everything stays under control. The funny thing is I got this little cheap Chinese piece of junk 
that is a huge, much bigger housing, like way bigger housing, but it's actually a smaller inducer. And of course, it's just you know, aluminum or I don't know. I'm not really a turbo expert, guys, but it's got a smaller 0.63 um, turbine housing. Um, it's a 0.5 AR on the compressor on this one. This one is a, uh, um, is a 0.6 on the compressor. So like, even though that turbo is way superior, way better, and actually flows probably, I mean, I'm, I imagine it flows way more air. This one is humongous. But there's no brand names written anywhere on this turd. There's not even any like specs written anywhere on it. Like on the, normally the, the turbine housing will have something uh, marked on it. But anyway, this thing actually kind of fits. I might try to use it just so we can race until our good turbo gets fixed. Um, might just see how it does. And I didn't think there was any chance in hell this huge compressor was going to fit up against our exhaust manifold, but it actually does. Just freaking barely. And I think we're going to send this thing, dude, because we don't want to miss any race days. Because everybody knows what we do. We just make it work. So hopefully this one will do and be able to make a little bit of boost until we get our good turbo back. And then we can be back in action, actually making making some real hits and breaking some records. This is just stupid how good this turbo fits, this car. This freaking max speeding turbo, although it says universal, this turbo was made for a 280ZX turbo. I swear, dude, everything is fitting so perfect. It's just annoying how much hell we went through to make another turbo fit just to revert back to something that bolts right in. But the good news is no ex extra modifications needed. So whenever we get ready to put the other one back on, it won't be a problem. But just look at this. Just look. If you look at the return hose right here, that pipe butts up straight up with the oil pan bung. Like perfect. That was so far off on our other turbo. And even the original turbo was a lot further than that. This thing fits so good. Uh, and all the freaking bolts are the same. I had to reclock the center housing to get the oil feed at the top. But uh, man, this is going really well. This is actually really easy. All I gotta do is order the downpipe. So once the downpipe's here, then this thing's gonna be ready to race. We're racing Friday, fifth show. All right, so I got it all buttoned up. Got it all done really without any drama. Honestly, everything went together really well. Um, didn't really have to change a thing. Just had to reclock the center housing of the turbo. And that's pretty much it, man. I mean, this thing just bolted right in. I already got the intake on, everything back together, all our hoses, charge pipes, oil delivery, everything's set. I even put the boost controller back on that I thought was bad whenever we were running 20 pounds of boost, but really it was just the wastegate was too small on the other turbo. So so the only thing we need now is the downpipe. I got it coming, I ordered it, and uh, it should be here before Friday, fingers crossed. The delivery estimated delivery was like from Thursday to Monday, somewhere between there. So here's hoping that it shows up early. Um, and I mean, aside from the whole turbo issue, we had communication issues last week. I had to go out and buy a brand new laptop and a serial cable. I started out with just a serial cable, still wasn't working, got a new laptop, everything's working again. Now I have a freaking new laptop that the only thing I plan to do with it is tune the damn car. Um, but anywho, we've overcome a lot already this season. And I mean, we're just gonna keep on rolling with the punches. I think this, this cheap turbo is gonna be a big step above our stock one. So we should be able to hit the boost numbers that we're looking to. Um, I think the next thing in the books, we need a, a bigger fuel pump for sure. We'll probably go Warbro 450, you know, just a, a cheap um, fuel pump. That'll be a step up from stock. And then, and then the next thing is probably gonna be a camshaft. I got, we got a, a cam in it now, we got like, uh, a stage two uh, Schneider turbo cam in it now, but um, I have, still have the original cam. And if I send it back to Schneider, they'll grind it for like 180 bucks or something plus shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here pretty soon. And that way uh, we'll just have them do like the most extreme grind that our springs and retainers can handle. Cause we do have upgraded um, springs and everything too. So we're just gonna go with the nastiest cam we can, try to b get back a little bit of that top end and, uh, and that see what she'll do.